Remember your first day of school? New sights, new sounds, same familiar feeling. Where do I go and how do I get there? Hi, I'm Jesse for UTA. And whether you've just moved to the Wasatch Front, you're trying to discover transportation options, or you're just sick and tired of the price of gas, well, we'd like to introduce to you a service the Utah Transit Authority provides to the community for free. It's called travel training. Now, some people think you don't need it unless you have a disability, but that is not true. Anyone can get travel training. Our trained staff is here to teach you how to use our transportation system for free. Now, if you do have a disability, UTA's entire system is 100% accessible, and you'll be happy to know we'll teach you how to use it for free, too. You can be more independent, but you can also gain some confidence by letting UTA help get you where you want to go. UTA uses buses, tracks, trains, and front-runner commuter trains. We have different types because some people need to go a shorter distance and some people need to travel a little bit further. We always try to do what's best for the community. Now we're going to show you a short example of each kind, but no matter which vehicle you're riding, you got to pay before you ride, right? Yes, you can still use good old-fashioned cash when you get on a bus. Just drop the exact amount right into the fare box. But as technology has changed over the years, people wanted some convenience too. Nowadays, you can pay with cash, credit, debit, or just use your monthly pass from UTA. There are ticket kiosks at every train station, as well as most max bus stops. The instructions are in English, Spanish, and Braille. If you'd like to see a short video on how to use the one for Front Runner, just go to YouTube and type in UTA ticket kiosk. We made the same video in Spanish, too. You can follow the instructions there, or just come in and get some travel training, and we'll personally show you how to use the kiosks. We'll even teach you how to use the electronic tap-on, tap-off fare system. OK, let's talk about some of our buses. The most common route you'll see our buses driving are called fixed route. Whether you want to go to work, school, or a doctor appointment, there are over 600 fixed route buses that can get you there. We have more fixed route buses in our system than any other kind. We have long buses, shorter buses, and even ski buses that can take you up the canyon so you don't have to worry about the snow. And remember, every bus is accessible by walker, scooter, and cane. Just put your money in the fare box, use your tap on, tap off card, or your monthly pass, and enjoy. A max bus is a little different, but still very cool. It has three doors, it stops fewer times along the route, and it even has special sensors to help get the green light so you can get to the track station faster. Max travels between the track station at 3300 South and Magna. It's pretty easy to tell the difference between a Max bus stop and a regular bus stop. If you're using your monthly pass, no problem. But if you're paying as you go, make sure before you board a Max bus that you buy your ticket. Ticket kiosks accept cash, credit, and debit cards. Boarding is easy. You'll notice there are three doors to get on and off, a nice big window with a view in the back, and of course, a wheelchair ramp too. Keep in mind that Max buses don't stop at every bus stop. They only stop at Max stops and the track stations. These MCI buses are longer and taller than our regular buses. They travel on the freeways between cities like Ogden, Salt Lake, and Provo. To ride an express bus, again, you can use cash, your tap-on card, or your monthly pass. And if you're in a wheelchair, no problem. You still have access. Speaking of access, express buses have free Wi-Fi, so you can surf the net or even get some work done before you arrive. Next, flex route buses are smaller and they travel on a regular schedule too, but what's great about this option is that flex route buses can deviate from the normal route upon request. For example, let's just say you want to travel somewhere and your house is within three quarters of a mile of the regular flex route. Well, for an extra dollar, the flex bus can come pick you up at your house. How do you do it? Well, it's best to call the scheduling department a day ahead of time at 801-287-7433. That spells 801 bus ride, by the way. Give them your address, and a scheduling specialist will help get you set up. And don't worry, if you have a disability, all flex buses have a wheelchair lift. It also works if your destination is within three quarters of a mile of the route. And yes, it still only costs a dollar extra. Now, let's talk about traveling by trains. UTA has light rail trains called tracks and commuter trains called front runner. The tracks trains are the smaller ones, but they transport around 14 million people in them every year and we're doing our best to reach as many communities as we can. There are about 50 track stations all along the Wasatch Front, so it's pretty easy to get on and off a train. Every tracks train and its platform are 100% accessible, so 
It doesn't matter if you walk, ride your bike, or have a wheelchair, you're still going to have access to the train. But no matter which train you're using, every train has free system maps to help you understand where you are and where you're going. But remember, if you want, we can always help you get familiar with our system for free by telling you everything you need to know about riding tracks. There are so many crossings and stations, and we just want people to be safe. So we produced our own safety video about riding our trains. To watch it, just go to YouTube and search for UTA Operation Lifesaver. We even have our own YouTube channel, so you can watch several videos about UTA. Just search for our username, UTA Ride. That brings us to the larger commuter trains we call Front Runner. Just like Max and Trax, you need to pay for a ticket before you ride. Front Runner ticket kiosks are on every platform. And remember, you need to hold on to your ticket as proof of payment because the UTA Transit Police will come by and check tickets. Front Runner trains travel greater distances between cities, so there aren't as many stations, but these trains can travel up to 79 miles an hour. You could travel all the way from Weber County up in the north down south to Utah County if you wanted to. Front Runner trains are also pretty comfortable. They have AC, heating, two levels of seating, free Wi-Fi, AC outlets for your laptop, and they even have a restroom in the south car. And to be more accessible and environmentally friendly, Front Runner has a bike car. We took out all the seats and put a bike rack on one side. Another great thing about Front Runner is that the floor of the train is level with the platform when you get on board. So it doesn't matter if you have a stroller, wheelchair, or cane, you're still going to have access to the train. So if you'd like free one-on-one -on -one instruction on how to ride a Front Runner train, UTA can help. It opens a world of uh, travel opportunities that ordinarily you might not have if you chose not to travel. So travel training, which removes all the obstacles and the uh, the intimidation factor, so to speak, of uh, traveling on, uh, on, on the bus uh, is a good thing. I am uh, disabled, uh, but I choose to use uh, fixed route uh, and tracks, even though I'm eligible to ride paratransit. I do that because uh, I like the uh, spontaneity that it allows me. Parking at sporting events, football games, it's a huge anxiety. You know, you, you want to get to where you're going faster so you can find a good space. And when you use the public transportation system, it gets you where you're going. You know, you don't have to worry about parking. You just have to, to go. And it's, uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot more convenient than a lot of people imagine, I think. Travel training, it's, it's a free service. And why not avail yourself of uh, something that's free to help remove the intimidation, the anxiety, uh, of when you have to travel. And uh, UTA offers a free service to help people get around and use their system. And uh, it's uh, very helpful and teaches people how to navigate the, 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 the transit system. So there you go. Now you have a little taste of what your transportation system can do for you. To get travel training and become more independent, just call 801-287-2276 or 801-833-2545 and UTA will be more than happy to help you.